Hi Aquarius, welcome to your <clears throat> special retrograde forecast. <clears throat> Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way and what should you be expecting. Well, Aquarius, looks like there will be some more of a tr financial transformation. All right. Well, it's not really for, it's not really uh, like a negative thing, but there will be some, you know, some things that will be uplifted and that will be, um, ooh. But when it comes to love, looks like you're gonna be mm, 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 gonna be torn into pieces this month, this two months, or during this whole period. Especially if you are with a water sign, or like a Scorpio. All right. You've been waiting for these financial changes that you're anticipating, waiting, dreaming, desiring. And you feel like, you know, like, when it's going to come, when it's going to come. And there will be some good news that's going to be coming your way. However, it will be changing your life path or your destination or wherever you're supposed to be going. Something that you have made as a decision in the past will be altering you know, whatever that's going to be coming your way in the future. Though there will be three things that you'll be losing. And it's going to be really hard for you to, you know, to let it go. But it's part of the process. And you will soon, you know, like, um, accept it. Anyway. Now, work-wise, I feel like you are going to be looking good, you know. Um, in front of your bosses and in front of the um, higher-ups. And you will be showing that you deserve the promotion, you deserve the job, you deserve the position. Or if you're trying to ask for the higher remuneration or increase, definitely it's going to be given to you. It's going to be given to you, but it will be around February, not this year. Now, in terms of love, especially if you're with a water sign or like a Scorpio woman or a Scorpio person, yeah, it, this is a jello reading anyway. So it's a man or a woman. And... Oops, sorry. And it seems like... Well, there will be some lies, deceptions, and like a long-term secret that you're going to be discovering during this period. It's, you know, like you're going to be in denial at first, you know, you're going to be in denial at the beginning because if you're like, no, 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 even, you know, my, my, my spouse or my partner are going to do that to me. They're not going to do that to me. They're not really capable of that, blah, 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 blah. So they're going to be, um, it's not really going to help if you will be denying this to yourself that something is really ongoing for like a long period of time. But then it's also time for you to accept that there are some things that you cannot really do anything about to change. And if you've been like, you know, if you've been away, let's say for example that your job is, um, you know, like in another place, another city, another country, another district or whatsoever, and you have to be away from your family for quite some time, then partly this is also the reason why. Okay, because you're always away, you're not always there. Uh, same old alibi that they feel so lonely and sad and they also have their own needs, you know, those crappy things and same old excuses. So, and you're going to be like, um, like you're going to feel so numb at first. You'll be a little bit spaced out, distracted. You're not really able to eat or sleep until that you will just let it out of your chest. And within the first two weeks of November, there will be a confrontation that's going to happen between you and this person. But then, you know, all the things that they're going to be telling you or that they're going to be giving as a reason, it will be unacceptable for you. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take off, move away, run away, not really deal with it. 
I don't see any separation or I don't see any divorce whatsoever, but it seems like you're going to be running away from your problems. And then you're going to be like a, you know, like sweeping this off under the carpet. You know, like what I said, it's not really going to help you at all. You know, if you're going to be in denial, you don't want to confront this, you don't want to hear this, you don't want to know about this. And the worst is, hopefully that they are not pregnant. So, to those singles, looks like your life is about to change for the better. You know, from low position to higher position, from no money to having something. And then I feel like your Thanksgiving and your holidays, you know, upcoming holidays will be really festive. So, I feel like it's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to rejoice. And finally, that those days that you're really dried up, it's almost over. Okay, now, but be very careful with your finances because this is not really the time that you really need to, you know, to shop till you drop. Be careful with your finances. Learn the lessons from the past and not because that something is pouring, it will be unlimited. Okay, now some of you will also be dealing with some demands and some unnecessary demands from your families. Okay. Uh, especially if you're, you know, if your folks are also air signs and it seems like there will be some things that you need to set your, you know, like you need to set some boundaries, set some limitations, learn how to say no and learn how to distinguish the right from wrong, which is obviously you're already an adult, you know, like full grown up adult. So you have to tell them that even though that there are some things that they are requesting you to do, you know, they won't even care because they are not the one who's going to be fronting with those things that they're going to be asking you to do. It's you. So you have to choose, you know, if, if it's something that is wrong to do, if it's something that, you know, like it's right or, or something, or it can get you into trouble, you have to learn how to... Uh, segregate, okay, or try to tell them that no, I'm not gonna do that. You know, it's just gonna ruin my job or my my life or my my relationship. Because the, you know, sometimes even though it, it's it's they are our family, it's um, they don't really care that much, you know. So you have to learn how to care for yourself because at the end of this, if you will try to listen to whatever they're going to ask you to do, it will just come to a very big disappointment and crushing. All right. Let's take a look at your love life. Some married Aquarius, especially if you're with an earth sign, there is a choice that you have to make between your job and your marriage or your relationship. Looks like you need to move to a new place or to a different place, but you don't know what to do. Some of you will also be dealing with a betrayal or with a deception, okay? And it seems like... You've been trying to hide this to everyone because you don't want, you know, other people to know about your business. But sooner or later, your partner or your spouse that is not being careful will be seen by some other people and they're the one who's going to be confirming things to you. Now, even though that this is the case, you will still try to make it through, but then it's your partner who will be making a decision too get it over and done with opportunities to some of you will be presented and it seems like you need to move different place different town different city different country possibly and you have to choose between your relationship or your 
your job. You know to yourself that if you go away and if you move, your partner or your spouse will definitely have some problems being on their own. There are some temptations that might also get in the way, which is you're, you're pretty much open-minded about this. Anything could happen. Anything is possible. So you might be like uh, loyal and faithful now. Tomorrow, the next day, when the, you know, the temptation hits you, you're only human. And you're very much open about this. So you don't know if you should stay, you know, let this whole offer pass you by, choose your relationship, or give up your relationship and pursue your dreams. This is, a, this is going to be a very tough choice. And I feel like some of you will be landing on your dream job. And this person that you're with has been with you for such a long period of time. So it's going to be like a very tough choice, okay? Some of you will be dealing with an infidelity or with somebody that you're, you know, that somebody that you're with who's cheating on you and that you'll be discovering their act. Now, even though that you feel like it's your fault or that you want to make it up for it or you just want to revive this, the, uh, the, the marriage or the relationship, your partner is the one who'll be letting go. Because they feel like they know that they're already being unfair, unfaithful, and, you know, not being trustworthy. And they cannot really stay with the relationship anymore. You feel like there's still a chance. And even if the person will try to send you the papers for divorce, I don't feel like you're going to be, um, you're going to be signing it. You would just keep it pending on the side and then you would you just want to move away you know for only for a little while to find yourself find your center and to find some answers okay singles looks like you need to be careful with fire and earth signs especially that they are only in their 38 or late 30s or late 40s okay you're gonna get stuck with these people, and it, you know it's uh, your dating will not really going anywhere, as it's more of a physical thing, or physical attraction. Let's take a look at your love oracles. flirt forgiving and learning stay optimistic new love past life relationship getting to know each other let go of control issues and codependency now this is what you have actually lost in your relationship the flirtations the fun you know, sometimes acting like a teenager or you're, you know, you're no longer in your honeymoon stage and you've already forgotten how it is to be sweet to towards one another. There also needs some forgiving and learning, which is obviously if you're going to be going through some se uh, series or period of infidelity, then there needs to be some forgiveness and learning. Now, stay optimistic about your love life. You are staying positive that you feel like this is still going to work out. And you're still open for brand new beginnings or brand new love. This is more of a karmic relationship, okay, or past life relationship. You still need to get to know each other because I feel like your partner is, be is too secretive or you're not really communicating well. Let go of control issues. There's no such thing as perfect. And stop the codependency, okay? Learn how to be on your own and still practice your individuality. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. By the book, Observer, Orphaned, No Place Like Home, Loyal Heart, Imagine, Clean It Up, Peace. Alright. 
Hmm, buy the book. You need to sometimes think outside the box, okay? You're always following the rules. You're always about what's right, you know, what the society will be approving, what is according to your religion and belief. Sometimes you just need to step out of this, okay? In order for you to have a happy life and in order for you to have a fulfilling life. Observer. If some things in your life just keeps on going over and over and over and you're repeating a pattern, then it's time for you to observe where it's really coming from. Orphan. You feel so alone at this moment because you feel like nobody wants to listen to you. Even if you will, you know, tell them what's really going on. You're not going to hear any decent advice from them. Because they feel like, you know, this has been going on for years. And we're all these sick and tired of listening to the same old drama and stories. And we've already told you what to do, but you're not really following our advices. You know, so that's what the other people will be telling you. That's why you're not going to get any decent advice during at this point. Loyal heart. You have a very loyal and faithful heart, but then you know that you have your own weakness as well. And you have your own flaws. And you are also expecting the same thing with your partner. However, you feel like in all of the relationships that you've ever been with, they're always... Like like something 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 happens, okay? Like there's always a third party in the picture. Imagine, be a little bit more creative with your solutions to your problems and clean it up. There are some cobwebs of the past that you need to remove, clear out, and make space to or make way for a new um for the new energy. All right, if there are some old baggages, unresolved issues, pent up feelings and other stuff, it's time for you to clear it out and burn the bridges behind to those that you've already left and you don't want to give a closure. And peace of mind, you will only be gaining this once you've already, you know, remove all those cobwebs that's been like um, bothering you and releasing your excess baggages. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this retrograde Aquarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone, live the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you. Sorry. <laughs>